Oh, <laughs> I have no history for birds. I'm just doing this from memory. Good morning everyone and welcome to a, a beautiful Paris St. Andrew. I'm a little biased this morning because I'm standing in one of my favorite family spots full of tons of history for me but more family history than personal Barbadian history. So as we start this beautiful morning we have a lot to cover. Let's say the serenity prayer together. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not mine, be done. Amen. So we are starting right here, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Morgan Lewis windmill. Let me kind of tilt for you. There she is. Sadly, her sails have been off since the, um, we had a storm and then we had um, the ash and um, the National Trust is still trying to get her sails repaired and back on. So donations that you can make would be so helpful. But in 1962, my great uncle donated this mill to the Barbados National Trust as one of his first um, sites. and. Um, to be preserved and the National Trust really have done a fantastic job in keeping her and as you know this is one of the remaining mills in this part of the world with all its equipment and sales and everything intact so to get her preserved would be get her back with her sales back on I know that they were getting ready to do some grinding but I don't know if they've done it or not but um, yes this is near and dear to my heart. There are so many family pictures of my father, cousins, uncles, all of us around this mill. So give what you can. This, this is a treasure to us personally and, and to Barbados. So I am not alone. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not alone. <laughs> what we have to do today, I better not be alone. <laughs> I'm here with two wonderful, wonderful gentlemen. <laughs> what is Ryan? Good morning. AKA the hey, EMC hey. Monkton Goat. Yes, okay. okay. And have you've and you've heard the second one. Yeah, yeah, you can only hear me this morning. <laughs> what? We're not yeah. gonna see you? No, we're not gonna see me today. Okay. I'm not, not hogging camera today. Okay, this Are is Are you doing be your job of hogging it though? Or? Really no. Um, they haven't seen yeah, yeah. Okay, you can be standing. 
Yes, because you haven't seen me, so good morning, everybody. Oh my gosh, I forgot my hat. So when you see me again, I have on my hat, but we will be in and out today because it all depends on where we have signal and what we can show you. But it's going to be fantastic views, fantastic views. I'm hoping. <laughs> so look. Hello. See, look him there. I caught him. See? <laughs> I caught him. And look, look, look of the beautiful St. Andrew. Um, you can see the, the sleeping giant's belly from here and his head. Yes. Morning, Marcia Rock. Saturday morning hugs to you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's walk. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, no, Let's come. Go. You hold. You hold. Let me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so on today I'm going to work and give uh, Nicole a break with the gimbal so she can hold on to everything to get herself through the obstacles that Ryan has planned for us. Uh, I don't know. I hope, I hope the monk can go. It realizes that he's probably the only person here that can go through some of the obstacles that he has planned for us in store today. But look at what we're going to show you now. This is mind blowing. Get ready. Welcome to the sunrise in Barbados. You can't see the actual sun there. I am sure there's a ball up there as just absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. That I see the hearts beautiful. going up because I know a lot of people on here are looking at that this morning but you I don't know if you can actually see the sun itself I don't want to touch your focus because it will throw it off so we're gonna proceed anyhow we're working our way down Cherry Tree Hill I am not talking much today I don't like to talk as you all know so yeah <laughs> I'm sorry they catch it especially when he first said that <laughs> you can see our mountain go is all ready to go fully attired and waiting for the action you can check out all his boots and stuff is four by fours and then Wait, I forgot to show you. I got uh, Nicole and show off her new 4x4s. Nicole, show me a 4x4s there, girl. Let me have a look at them. Let me see. Let me see what it looks like. Okay, this is the before. <laughs> we will take some photos of them after we put some mud on them for her later on so you'll see the after. You're looking re well dressed for today. Correct. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I don't know why you're wearing long pants because we like short pants. You know what it is? No. We don't mind the bush. Being in the bush is the action. I have all my repellent, everything. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, you know, first of all, before I go any further, let me say good morning to Jeanette. Jeanette, good morning to you, my darling. I know you're on here. I'm sorry you weren't with us and all of our other um, Spice Girls and all of our other EMC family members. Sorry you're not with us this morning. Uh, unfortunately, um, we need two vehicles today, so we didn't want to advertise it because you need to park one in one location and then drive the other. So we didn't have that much room, but we're sorry you're not here with us this morning for sure. It's beautiful. So, Ryan, what do you have in store for us today? <laughs> um, a trail that isn't really a trail. Okay, well, let me let me make sure that they can they can hear you next time because I didn't turn on the microphone, so it was a little bit of a challenge. So you're gonna lose us today. You said, you said you're making excuses up front. Yeah, I'm calls. I'm making excuses right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're going off trails like that. You know, I don't know. I don't even know that these trails really exist. Okay, well that's just looking on Google Maps, what seeing what we can find. Sweet man. All right, so we bring more of that for you in a little while. Yeah. All right, so he's dipping into his Google Maps and stuff to get himself all. Enjoy some. I'm gonna walk for you in a couple of moments in silence, so you can take this all in for yourself. Oh, we got a car coming out. Yeah. Okay. It's yep. Beautiful. Stunning. Here we go. I think the camera may be a little bit at an angle, so we're not too level. So my apology on that. We'll reset it for the next one. Is it very angry? No, not no, very, very, very. Not no. very, very, very. No, no. But you couldn't have just said it's not very. You had to add the extra very, very, very. Very, very. All right. Very. So. As we said, this is not me a continuous vlog. I don't even know what signal is like right here. To be real honest with you, we're going to lose the camera for a second. I'm shifting around and then I'm going to have to manually start it back up. So just bear with me a minute. Don't want you all to miss this here. Try and get as level as I possibly can for you. There we go again. All right, that's a little bit better, it looks like to me. All right, so this is our adventure. This is where we're going to be starting off at Cherry Tree Hill. It's Morgan Lewis Mill, actually. Um, as Nicole has mentioned, this is a place that has a lot of history for her and her family. And she will give us a tour here and a later date it's all planned already it just hasn't materialized and she didn't know we were coming here today so um i know she didn't bring out the lift chair and only that we have to start walking because this is a not an all talking day as she normally has it so today you will not be graced with the nice and gentle and fooling lies you may just hear a few lies from ryan you know i don't tell lies so ryan and nicole will certainly give us the opportunity to hear them later on i'm sure for those who do not know the mountain goat, the mountain goat carries a lot of different hats. He carries a hat called a surfologist. 
He's our hycologist and he's also our EMC mountain goat. We hashtag that this morning for the first time, so that's gonna be an interesting hashtag going forward. <laughs> uh, you have anybody in particular you want to say hello to right hello, now that's hello. not here? Ah, uh, yeah, hello. Yeah, that's nice. So where, where's Heather right now then? She is in Texas. In Texas. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. That's a long. Uh, she's not there for a while, or she's coming back soon. Yeah. Awesome, man. That was wonderful. Yeah, just visiting a friend. Yeah. Being up there for like a week. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Nice to get out and stuff, you know. Thanks for spending this time with us as she's overseas right now. Thank you for her joining us. What do you want to show me? The goats. Man, hold on, man. Let me give you this gimbal. We're going to be sharing this gimbal today because Nicole is looking at different things and she wants to talk to you about them. Man, no, 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 no. You want that? I'm talking about Ryan and Heather. Are you referring to goats? Seriously? That is all you got this subject? That's all you swear the subject? Hold oh, a second. You Called yeah. the mountain goats. So <laughs> like this. Man, listen, you don't even defense. No, no, right, no. Man, talk to him about it, man. No, 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 no. But I just thought that we were passing Mr. Hode's farm. If you know Mr. Hode, he has a art. He still has a, a, a art a column every Friday in the nation. Ma, you ask me. I think so. I think so. There. But if he does, yes, Richard Hode and his fantastic political satire is really great to read. And look, the, these are his mountain goats. Well, his Caribbean goats. <laughs> his Morgan Lewis goats, whatever you care to call them. I just thought this was so beautiful as we walked by. So, Nick, this camera is really off. Till no, this you're morning. off balance. No. Look at the, the coastline. Well, you know what? The, okay. Look at look at the high, the coastline. Okay. okay. You no see problem. it's on balance. Okay. You are off balance. We're gonna have some fun yeah. this morning, okay. guys. Okay. Back on to Nicholas. Okay. Here we go. Again. <laughs> uh, I love it. You know, I love it. That's not, I'm gonna show you all. A little bit of a um, sort of like a relayed replay of what happened just now. Check this out, look. Nicole, uh, take the camera. No, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it, Nick. I'm not taking it. Yeah, that's how she is. You all know already. <laughs> Eager to hold my gimbal. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I am saying it because you've started it all the time. And you know who started that originally? Uh, uh, Miss J. <laughs> Beautiful down here. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna be taking a, a car trap. Smell of goats. A sweet smell of goats. Yeah. Oh, 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 that skip was terrible. Yeah, we had we had an adventure coming up the highway, and it didn't last too long. Thank goodness, we found Jewel Highway, impassable area, so we left that behind quickly. All right, we're gonna take a trip down here onto the beach section itself. We're gonna go down to Morgan Lewis Beach and Walkers. That's where we're gonna be starting from. Well, we actually started already, but that's where we're gonna continue into now. Um, at one time there was a proposal for a resort to be built down in here and never materialized um, That would have been absolutely horrible to be honest with you um, I don't think it would be very successful either because you see conditions down here certainly not something you could swim in um, At any time of the year really, but uh, anyhow um, th That did not happen and did not materialize. Thank goodness. So we have the nature as it was supposed to be Have a look at this beautiful area mm -hmm. Everything is so green and lush. Just a couple of weeks of rainfall and everything is back on track again. Beautiful. Look at the lushness of out here today. Yeah, we got a lot of wind. Um, so the microphone wires have been blown a little bit. So you're getting crackling and stuff. Um, you know, don't worry about that too much. You're doing the best we can do for you. Uh, I am not sure how the signal is. When I see that we lose signal, I guess we will stop. We'll stop when we get to the beach and then we'll start back up a little further on. Um, possibly, we'll see how it goes. But where we do lose signal, um, we will certainly be bringing it in 4K resolution. Absolutely beautiful out here. Nature at its absolute best. If you have never been down and explored in these areas, something is definitely recommended. Years ago, you could have taken the road just prior to the actual sand dune or sand pit area. Uh, if you're coming from the north side and drive, oopsie, wind is killing it. Just give me a second to get me back on track. All right, so we can see the wind will be our major challenge today. Um, we don't have a new gimbal with us, so we're gonna face a little bit more of a challenge than we normally have. But years ago, we could have driven right down to the beach and into the sand dunes itself. Um, however, that is not possible now. They've blocked off that road officially. So you can't enter the, from the bat section of the, fo the fosses area and stuff. But it's still absolutely beautiful, stunning. All right, so there's the beginning. We're gonna be doing this similar kind of scenery the whole way down, so we're gonna stop this now for a few minutes and then when we get down with the beach we'll bring you a little bit again remember we'll be on and off today 
um, randomly. We don't know exactly when. We'll see how that goes. But hopefully you'll be able to join us a couple of times or at least once. And hopefully you'll be able to see the beauty um, that this island has to um, you know, has here waiting on you. A lot of people never ever see here. So this morning, we hopefully it will encourage you to bring your hikers and stuff with you, your 4x4s, and enjoy this. You can see Nicole setting a serious pace here. Ryan, first of all, setting a serious pace. Wait, Nicole, you brought your rope. I can put it around my waist and pull you if I need it. No, oh my goodness, I forgot it too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we should, we should have a rope. The rope's in my uh, anywhere wagon, but uh, that's not here. No, that, that doesn't really help us right now. All right, so from these two people that are setting a nice pace this morning, yeah. and from myself, of course, we bid you farewell for now. Bye, we will guys. Be back. Bye, everyone. This is not see a good later. Episode. Yes, I'll see you later. For Love sure. you, fire woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I hope she's watched this morning. You told her that you were going to be on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Well, good morning to you, Heather. Um, I got two hugs this morning. I'll tell you, I got one hug from Ryan, and then he gave me a hug on your behalf. I must say, um, your hugs personally were a lot better. Uh, he did a good job, but his hug was definitely the one today that brought the warmth to the heart. I <laughs> will see you for a long time, as you can appreciate. And I'll catch you all later, guys. You'll see you in a little while. Just gonna spin you off into the sun, and then we'll be back with you in a little bit. See y'all later. switch Mary <laughs> I see switch on here Mary we told you we will bring you here if you were not able to make it so good morning to you and morning to everyone else is on here we have actually now started the Morgan Lewis section we just came down through the roadway that you would have seen a couple of minutes ago the gimbal is gonna get blown around so if you all see a lot of erratic behavior uh, that's understandable the signal is also getting a little weaker now um, but we will try and see what we can do for you through the rest of the day um, yeah I'll blame okay let's actually go back here again this is our official blame for anything that goes on today. Yes, yeah, he said he is leading the way. That's our official EMC Moncton Goat, by the way. Ryan, that some of you all may not know who the Moncton Goat is. Um, but we will certainly have a look at this morning and see his tag. You'll know who he is for sure. And as you can see, Miss Kerr, she is sort of like hands free today. She is not holding my gimbal. I, I, I can tell you that immediately. She's not, um, but she's enjoying herself. So we're going to start off from here. We just want to bring you a little footage as we're making our way down. This is Walker's Beach or some people call Morgan Lewis which is behind us or Walker's Beach is actually referred to as we will be making our way along through some tracks and stuff up there to Pico Tenerife which is just around the corner can't see that from right here but that is where we'll be um, heading to that's the direction that we're going in and just to show you what down here looks like I'm going to give you a first circle of love remember if this camera freaks out and flips all over the place it's because of the very strong winds so here we go So we're going to do some walking going on. I see Kathy. Kathy, good morning to you, my Caribbean sister. It's great to see you on board. Um, hopefully, uh, some of your family and friends in, in our group down there will um, be able to enjoy some of this natural beauty as well. Said we're in Morgan Lewis. We're in the actual area known as Walker's Beach. Just stunning, stunning down here, as you can see. Nature at its absolute best. Right behind here is a place that's referred to as the land by all the guys that have the monster four by fours and stuff. Um, this is where we come to play. I don't really play down here. I haven't played down here for a few years, but used to before. Um, but this is where you play down in this section. It's called the land. Um, that is what it's commonly referred to as. You can see a few traps on the beach here. Not going way down on the beach, thank God. They're just using the inside section to get from one location to the other. 
um, when down here is raining and stuff, a lot of 4x4s actually get stuck up down here. So usually you come down here with more than one vehicle when it is very heavy rain conditions or if you've had heavy rain conditions. You can see how clayish the texture is here. So you can see this will stick up really seriously. This would fill your treads and stuff in your vehicles or your shoes and stuff when it's wet. So if you are going to be walking down here, hiking down here when it's raining, please be careful. Um, it is very, very slippery and very challenging for sure. But how beautiful. I'm hoping you all can see this area. Right now the resolution looks good on screen, but I don't know what you're getting. But we do know the signal was a little bit lower on. So we're going to be walking northward and we're going to make our way down to the Pico Tenerife as I mentioned before. We're hoping to bring you little bits along the way. If we can't get the signal, which we will check prior to going on, if it is very low and it's an area that you need to see, we're going to put them in 4Ks and we're going to join them all up and put them up on YouTube um, later on today, hopefully. Well, I don't know about today because today, uh, myself and I had to call him the porkologist now. We got a new name for him. We'll be going up to the Pan and Pork uh, Artistry uh, up at the SC building. Uh, we're going to go out there and fill our mouths with some meat. <laughs> that sounds so terrible. No man have said it, can't take it back. You know you can't unhear what you've heard. So that's what it will be. I don't know if Nicole or any others will be joining us. I don't know if after this hike if Nicole will be joining anyone today, but we'll see. Uh, the challenge is on. It's all up to just have a good time and enjoy the beauty of the piece of Barbados. Nicole, you want to you want to share some talk with anyone? Let's see bath would be wonderful after this. Let's see bath. Uh -huh, you want to so. here? No, not here. Oh, okay. Guys, this is so beautiful say. this morning. As usual, at this time so. in the morning, it is fantastic up here. Breeze is wonderful. Really? Sea is full of sargasm, you can see it. But the beauty is just phenomenal this morning. So I don't have much to say. Because you have to appreciate I'm keeping my breath with this walk. Yes? So, yes, I'm going to turn this back over to Nick. <laughs> Alright, so until um, we get to another location, because this is pretty much what you'll be seeing right through. Uh, we're reserving our battery and we're also um, just enjoying it ourselves and enjoying the, the feeling it's surrounding us. So until we get back to you later on, stay cool. We will be back in one form or another. We definitely will be back at the very end for sure when we get down to Pico Tenerife overlooking Cove Bay because down there is a great signal. Um, and hopefully in between here and there as well. But a last look of where we're venturing towards and this is a beautiful beautiful walkers beach is this not just stunning but listen let me give you a little bit of the actual hills and stuff We did a video down in here when we first started before we actually started live vlogs when we were out trying to capture all the beaches prior to the shutdown of covid um so there is a little small clip up on youtube just put in um i think i, I may have called it either may have called it probably morgan lewis or uh, morgan lewis beach is why you probably refer to it as which it really is as well as walker's beach um but if you want to see it up there but uh, that was in 4k but very short very very uh, beginning levels of it where we didn't have a gimbal and stuff so a little bit jittery so hopefully today we will be able to do down here justice and this section that we have not covered on the map of Barbados you know our map so comprehensive it has been however there are two little sections one here and then one just between Nora Point Beach Resort and Animal Flower Cave that is also um, a little bit tricky on the signal but that's somewhere we're planning to finish and then that will complete the entire coastline of the island these are the last two sections remaining this being the longer of the two um, it's going to be a beautiful day. Is this not just stunning? So Agazan plays its role out here. It makes you feel as though you're on a deserted island. If you remember, there, were, um, there was quite a bit of footage that was captured out here as well by Green Pond. Um, when they had the Outer Banks 3. Again, Outer Banks 2 and 3. They have 1, 2 and 3 seasons. But number 2 and 3 uh, have quite a bit of Barbados in it. So if you want to challenge your knowledge on Barbados um, by quick glimpses, aerial glimpses or glimpses from normal level um, have a look up there number three has a lot more and it's amazing how they've taken the Barbados landscape and have merged different sections of it to make it look like somewhere completely different you might pick out your land, your land um, landmarks however they've made it really really interesting so outer banks 
two or three if you want to see some of Barbados. All right, so catch you all later. As you can see, we are treading ahead. And as you can hear, not a problem with breathing or talking. That's because I'm a finely tuned athlete. Uh, as you all know, I am an Olympian. So this morning, I really am trying to walk behind the others so I don't set the pace and, and you know, make them extremely tired and exhausted. The mountain goat will probably pass me, but that's only because I'm gonna let him do so because he's a leader. So <laughs> you all have a great day, okay? Catch you all later. Peace and love from beautiful Walker's Beach, beautiful Barbados. To each and every one of you all join us this morning. Thank you for your company. You know, the EMC Live Warriors are an amazing group of people. No matter how difficult it is, the majority of them will get up every day and come and join us so they can enjoy the beauty and the peace and the serenity, even although they're not here. That's what we're able to do. We're able to let you focus uh, your visions and your, your memories together and merge them into one, which means gives you the experience of being here. Is that not just stunning? All right, so catch you all later, guys. Um, not breathless i'm ready to talk now i'm gonna be very i'm gonna have to go over here and burn their ears off because i got talk to give and uh, we catch you all later on see you in a little while Hello, Jeanette. <laughs> I heard you were criticizing my driving. I understand that when Nicole was telling you about how I was such a, a great driver that you were asking if the phone had been taken away from her. So just to let you know, she came over this morning and said, I do not know why everyone is complaining. You are an incredible driver. She said, I now see that all of your talk about Ethan Sterling Moss and all of those guys in Formula One how to drive were absolutely correct. So you see, she now knows for sure what you all have been doubting all along. You see, Ryan is cooling down. Got off that hat for sure. Yeah, it's nice to walk away from the sun rather than walk into it. Nicole, how are you faring? You're good? Let me come over here and put your microphone in your face. Hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah, so you, you're, you're seeing some beauty over here. Do you haven't seen for a little while? Yeah, it's Isn't it so gorgeous? beautiful. I don't, I've never come this end. Oh, yeah? Yeah, right, so well, this is something lovely. New for you and something I haven't done for a very long time. So it's been almost brand new for me as well too. Yeah. And Re Ryan is ready to carry us and get us lost. So far, we're walking a straight trail, so it's not a problem. He cannot lose us. But when we get down those hills down there, we should have some fun. Now we can't really get lost over here. Uh, if we get lost, we'll venture in a little bit and look for bus stop in the city. <laughs> it's beautiful out here, though. I mean, really beautiful. We just checked the signal just now. Beautiful signal where we are very strong consistent signal so we should be bringing you some lovely clarity here as well please ask Ryan about his ride in the war wagon hold on a second Ryan Jeanette wants to know let me let me turn his son the other way and let me get you you could tell her Ryan Jeanette wants to know what your rides are like in the war wagon um hair raising hair raising oh. <laughs> <laughs> that means good ride good driving right yeah oh absolutely oh, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so she, she's testing because she says that um, she knows about the stories that you've told her in the past. So, yeah, she's just trying to get you to back her up. But you know how to say anymore. You said it already. It gives you great driving. It's thrilling is what you meant to say. Right? No, <laughs> That's right. Really. Absolutely. Okay. okay, brother. Perfect. <laughs> there you go, Jeanette. First hand. It is a thrilling ride. That's what he said. So you can now take that and you can put that how you want to take that. And I have not paid him. Maybe he knows he has to. Oh, no, he doesn't have to drive with me. I have to yes he does yeah <laughs> you got to drive with me from our next point so that's why you're being so nice huh and he'll know mine <laughs> whatever reason it is the right thing to do beautiful so we're almost at the annie beach we're gonna just bring a little bits in between let's have we put these all together whether it be the 4k or whether it be the lives we put them together and share them with our youtube family a lot of people don't like to come on facebook because i've had some horrific experiences on facebook and i know i've seen them in the past as well I tell them if they just come off Facebook for the EMC, that's all they need to come off for. But start there and generate off in the different directions of the people or family members that have their own Facebook pages that bring positiveness and beauty as well. And then they'll be fine. And they don't have to go outside of that. You can just stay within the groups and stuff and enjoy Facebook. But it's important that the ones that are listening to this now, um, they're on YouTube only, understand 
that if you don't see the comments that are going on here you're missing a lot of the action you know the beauty that you're seeing merged with the comments that are being given a what build the whole experience so if you're not on Facebook I highly recommend you make an account if it's just for our group as I said before come and have a look and share your love and peace and happiness with them and the joy because there's laughter going on all the time there's bantering which is all through love and kindness um, etc that you are missing out on so you're missing half of the experience at least would you agree that Nicole yes, okay I'm making you talk I notice that you are reserving your breath Oh, you are okay no problem okay <laughs> all right so Nicole is now looking and realizing wait how many he walked a long time and we are not even quarter way yet no response <laughs> crickets crickets yeah no we're more than more than quarter way but anyhow we're having a wonderful time so come back to you again when we get to Ennis Beach again we're by past the area known by many as Foster's Funland uh, if you had the opportunity to ride any buggies years ago which were by adventure and tours at that time they used to frequent this area and they had their own little tours they used to come here and come in a safari in their safari jeeps then take buggy rides two person buggy rides all along through these hills and then of course island safari who used to have their uh, atvs which used to be up, located by the mill itself used to go inland from there to farley hill etc through those roads so a lot of those businesses they, they have closed um, i guess it was difficult to get um, occupancy rates up and stuff and people interested in it because a lot of people didn't know what it had to offer you can have pictures of anywhere uh, pictures can you know don't really paint the true image having a video of it is a different story that's what we're doing here as you know we are EMC which brings many life and the reason we bring many life because we want to share the experience and have others share their experience with us while we're showing it it's a beautiful morning I see somebody's here uh, but but his face turned white man listen very good you all relax you all did not see my face and if you were referring to Ryan yes he did he was a little bit frightened when uh, I asked him the question about my driving abilities because remember he knows he has to get right back to his truck with me in the war wagon so he's got to be quiet and Nicole well, she's a, 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 I, I said this earlier this morning do not put your foot through my floorboard that is Jeanette's uh, job not yours and she said no I'm not doing it Nicholas you're driving extremely well I am so impressed at how you're driving and all the lies that people have been telling to you all through the past all right so we're gonna sign off again a little short spurt here just so that you see this beautiful beautiful landscape absolutely stunning I'm gonna give you another circle of love and then we're gonna catch you when we get to any beach as we start going inland hopefully you'll have a signal there we'll see just keep monitoring and see what happens I notice and I'm gonna to have to talk through this here so as usual she stops me from keeping quiet I notice that my co-star is causing me a lot of talk on here no worry I, very very soon I'll be able to take this out and have a conversation with you on these same subjects anyhow for now you enjoy yourself um, enjoy life have fun everyone hope you're having a good time see you on a few minutes time see ya Pulling this lion's tail for true though. You see as you want to start with me. <laughs> well, I don't see anybody on board yet. Not saying that nobody is on board, but I don't see anybody on yet. But we just want to let you know we've up in the grass hills. We had to come a little bit off track further inland slightly. Nicole's here, I'm here, Ryan's here, everybody's here. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing anyone online. Oh, one person just came on. Hello there, Cheryl. Uh, I'm glad to see you finally got up and awoken this morning. Anyhow, we're down in Foster's Fun Land. We just finished uh, the Morgan Lewis section of Walker's Beach. We're now making our way up into the hills itself. We're making our way northward and we've just taken an apple stop. And here you go. Cheese on breads. Our durable hikers are all here. Nicole has survived. She's caught her heart rate back down to normal, so her adrenaline is not going through the roof. We can lose signal again as we go into the hill. Um, we'll keep checking it periodically, but we just want to get a little check in with you all, let you all see what's happening. We're also doing 4K as well in areas that we're not getting any signal so we'll be able to merge that as well for you to like to see the unseen areas that you're not seeing at this present time but beautiful beautiful morning lovely to see you all 
Yeah, Cheryl, I'm glad to see her back with us. I see her saying back with us. That means you're trying to say you were not sleeping just now. So welcome back. And welcome to everyone else on board here. I see Seagrape Police. We just saw some lovely Seagrape down there. Lovely because they're beautiful, cosmetically beautiful, but we wouldn't eat them at all. And you know, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we're going to be moving on. I just want to do a little brief something here. The others have gone through the bush. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll walk until we lose signal. Um, just to show you what we're going through and the kind of areas that we're covering today. I don't know what kind of signal we'll get right now. We're getting some of the repeater, I would think, from Bell Plain or somewhere like that. But making our way up through here, as you can see, is nice and beautiful. Everybody's just taking any natural beauty that's surrounding us as we like to do. Stunning areas this morning. Hopefully, when some of you are down here, we'll be able to do this again with the whole group. That would be a lot of fun yeah. for sure. We came out right beside there. Yeah, that's when we came on the beach. So we run out of life, so we're putting you on a uh, mountain goat. You're looking healthy and fit and ready. All right, so we just found a good, good signal from here. I don't see anybody on board, but you'll have to reel and come again and rewind this to check this later on. But we want to share this viewpoint with you. It's absolutely beautiful up here. Just stunning. I think the, the beach has us a little weary from the, all the walking in the sand in the beginning and then coming up through the hills. And we have come up a fairly steep incline here. There's still a little bit of it to go. Uh, just to let all those Nicole fans out there know that she's fine, um, that she's healthy and she's fit and her mind is great. Um, she's doing what needs to be done and of course we're making sure that she's keeping well, obviously. But we still have a little way to go. I don't see anybody on right now, but it's not a problem. You'll catch it later on and as I said, we'll be merging all these here. So you'll have the convenience of seeing them in that way. But it's beautiful out here. Good morning, Lynch. I see you're up. The only person on at the moment. Great to see you on. Um, overlooking where we've started from as Ryan was saying in the center of the camera the lower uh, little hill there you're seeing that's where we actually entered onto the beach that's where we started our walk we came right down this beach here to the very very end we then proceeded along a track that carried us through close to the actual coastline itself but then we came to a dead end so we turned back good morning G car glad to see you on this morning with us and then we had to proceed up into Foster's Van Land itself. So we're going up by the Mr. Foster's, where it was the plantation at one time. Uh, we're going to work our way through here, but it's beautiful out here this morning. We're utilizing the opportunity to bring you whenever we have a signal. But we do have some 4Ks that we are bringing up as well. And as you can see, our climb is still going on. It's a good climb still to go. But Nicole is looking great. She's taking a picture. I know she's taking a picture of me because I'm taking a view of her, as you all can see. Right now, we're picking up the signal over the top of the hill, I think, from Bell Plain. Seems to be fairly good at the moment, but it certainly will definitely be reducing as we go up the hill. So we just want to stop at this point, let you know everybody's fine, and that the hike is going beautifully, and look at this kind of terrain we're in. I remember this was a really good road that used to come down here years ago. However, as you can see, it's been shut off for a while now, so the majority of it uh, will have to be done by private permission if you want to come down here, of course, if you are driving. But beautiful, beautiful terrain. Let's go, let's go over here and see how Nicole is surviving. Let's go over and talk to her. Nicole! <laughs> I've come over to put a microphone on you for you to let everybody know how your experience has been so far because we want to be living it. So you better have stop so you can talk. And, it, uh, it's okay, it's going good. Uh -huh. It's just the hills are a little challenge. Right. But this is my first time, so I'm being kind really to well. myself. You're doing very well, for sure. Okay. I mean, I haven't heard any crying or whimpering or anything. No. So I think you're doing well, for no, sure. No. We have four people on here, I'm sure, wishing you luck and wishing Aww, you all the best. Thank yeah. you, thank you. They probably are not. They're not nice people like me, but I'm going to do it for them anyhow to make <laughs> it something nice. And you can see Mountain Goat smiling air to air, man. The deeper we get in the bush, the more he seems to smile, having a wonderful time. So our uphill continues. Um, I told Nicole Elijah just on told her when we got that corner that it was going to come to an end, but she's now realizing that I was not telling her the truth. But we do it in stages. There's no sense me telling her, well, had another half mile uphill to go. She'll experience that for herself anyway. Well, I wouldn't have to tell her. You know, you all have a fantastic time. We're going to go again. No, I don't need a break. I've been talking the entire time, as you people will probably be able to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, boy, let's, let's get a, a, a midway point look at you. You got a beginning point look. You got a midway point look. You're looking good, old Nicole. You're fine. You want to yes. stop for a little water or something? Yeah, I was going to stop for a little water when I get in the bend. When we get to the top of the hill? Yeah. Alright, let's do that then. You take your time. We're going yeah. good, right? Alright, so for now, from us, we'll catch you later on. Hopefully you all will be able to catch some of this here. I see a couple of people on, three people on right now. You know, the important thing is that it's there for when you'll be able to watch it later. Put up on YouTube later on. Not sure when it'll go up, if it'll go up today or if it'll go up tomorrow because, as you know, we have Pan and Poor Arctic Tree planned for later on. 
Ryan and myself have already decided we're going to go eat all the pork that we can find. So hopefully I'll be able to put the camera on us at that stage again. You all talk about licking him out like a pork chop. I'm going to show you a lick of pork chop later on. Hold that. So we come into a little bit of a level off. And we definitely going around the corner and losing signal. So from us to you, from this beautiful, natural, overgrown area of Foster's Fun Land, we're going to bid you farewell for now. We'll catch you later on. Remember, if you all see the alerts, you have your time. Come on and join us. Keep our company. We love the EMC Light Warriors with us. So if you have the time, come and join us later on. See you in a little bit. Catch you later.